So in part four, we're gonna do a really good upgrade to this sled. We're gonna put in a reverse chain case. So Lonnie had to run some errands, so Farley and I are out here ripping this thing down, and I decided the most urgent thing to do was to uh, rip into that chain case and make sure everything looks good, because this thing is just rusty, and uh, there's rust everywhere on the sled, and I was worried that maybe that got contaminated. But it's beautiful inside. Just ignore the dirt that I knocked in. We're going to clean that out, obviously. But uh, this is not gear lube. This is proper... That's proper chain case lube. There's no sulfur smell to it. It's probably Polaris synthetic chain case lube, which is, of course, what we're going to refill it because these reverse boxes tend to have a lot of wear in them. So that's where we don't run automatic transmission fluid. If we put a reverse box on, we run the right stuff. Out here making progress on the sled. Hoping Lonnie gets back soon with some ice so uh, we can have another round of bloodies. But here's where I'm at. I got the chain case off. It really wasn't too much of a struggle. The uh, secondary is stuck on the jack shaft. And uh, given the state of this sled, if necessary, I will sacrifice the chassis. But I think most likely I'll knock that rotor off and uh, take the flange bolts out, little carriage bolts on the, on the flange bearing, and then just yank it out that way and put it in press and salvage both the jack shaft and the, uh, and the secondary clutch if I can. And, of course, we're going to save that nice brake hose and whatever else. I mean, we're just picking parts off this thing at this point. So Dennis is here now. Lonnie's still out on his mission, hopefully coming back with ice. And uh, I've got everything I want off of this. I, Brad may want to pick over a couple pieces, but I'm throwing her in the woods. So here's what the piles look like. That's pure garbage. I'm going to stuff all that back in the sled and stack it on some other dead sled in the woods. Don't want any of that. <sighs> track and skid, unknown. I don't know. The clips are super rusty on the track, but otherwise it seems okay. I haven't even checked over the skid yet. But Lonnie's getting in for a nice surprise when he gets back. He wants purple wheels. There's his purple wheels. Purple. There's a table full of good parts that we kept. Uh, and there's the, the jack shaft and the drive wheels. Not that I need any more drive wheels, but those look like they have really low miles on them. So they'll find their way into something. And uh, I'll get that nice uh, adjustable secondary off of that shaft and we'll reuse all that stuff too. So uh, I don't know, parts is parts. Here, that's still the parts from uh, part three of the front suspension layer in there too. So parts is parts. I'll probably shovel all that into the sled before I drive it into the woods, except for, uh, I guess we'll keep those Fox shocks. She lived a good life, but she's gone now. And a scoring points again. Cleaning up Lonnie's chain case for him. Thanks for doing this, buddy. You can't work with grime. No, we wouldn't put it together dirty. No. So, uh. Because Lonnie's out lollygagging. Yeah, we don't know what he's doing, but we think he's coming back with ice for the bloodies. Well, so, okay. we'll accept that. That'll make up for it. Oh, I don't have my mic on. Lonnie isn't mic'd up, but he and Dennis, Dennis did a lot of the cleaning. Got the chain case clean. We got some new bearings in. Lonnie just did that just like we did on the XL or on the cross country video. We got new seals. We're going to grease them up with some white lithium just a little bit so they don't get burned right away. Not much to show you that we didn't show you on the previous video. So uh, we're getting ready to get into the assembly phase on this project. Looking forward to that. Yeah. All right, we're back again. And uh, you can see we got the track in, we got the drivers up there, we got the jack shaft in, uh, we got the bearings on the clutch side on. And the reason for that is because that's a that's a four drive drive shaft. It's got the, the outer wheels on it. And you can't really get that in once you get the chain case in. 
So Lonnie's got the chain case here between he and Dennis. It's spotless. And we just kind of wrestle it around the cooling hoses. And then once it's on the sled, we start building it up. Yep. Let's get it on the sled. All right. Lonnie wants to build his own chain case up. So this is how you do it. This is the order. So this is the bottom gear. On a reverse chain case, it's got needle bearings in it. It's got this mountain on one side. It's got four dog teeth on the other. Dog teeth go up. Goes in the chain. And then your top gear, just like always, it's the two gears. This goes on your drive shaft. So this is your splines inside that mate to your drive shaft. Super easy. Then you've got these two. So you'll notice one of them has a profile that's the same as the chain teeth, and the other one has a profile that's that's an actual involute gear profile. So thrust washer, and then drop these two on. There's another thrust washer that goes up here for the case, and then this drops onto those splines. And that's how it all goes together. And then, you, of course, you got to tighten this bolt down with blue Loctite unless you get a new patch bolt, which we don't have. So we'll do blue Loctite on here and uh, the big nut up here, just like always. So that's, that's how you build your reverse chain case. And don't forget, when you're putting the cover together, you've got this shift fork that has to engage in this groove where my thumb and finger are. That goes underneath the top gear, just like always. Very standard, that's under the bottom gear. Got it, yep. Okay, so the idlers, yep, thrust washer first. Then the idlers, there's the one that's a chain profile, one that's a gear, um, I think. You got it right. It looks like it. Yep. Not wearing my glasses, but that looks right. And the shitty thing is, sometimes you got to get that with the top gear all at once. <laughs> now you tell me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can put on just the one gear. You don't have to do two at a time. All right. I'm sure we'll be editing the living shit out of this. <laughs> nope. It literally has to go on together. There yep. we go. All right, now find the spine. Find the spine. There you go. All right, there's the real step one. That's the actual step one, not the step one I said before. So that's all the chain stuff. Then it's that piece, and then the other thrust washer. We're most of the way done with the gear case. Now I'm going to get some blue Loctite for you, and I'll meet you back here, Lonnie. And you can get all the... Right. Let's do it. All right, there it is. That is the assembled Polaris reverse case. Ready to get the, the gasket and the outer cover on it. Good to go. Okay, sled heads. We have overcame many rusty obstacles today. Uh, this sled has finally taken shape. We uh, got that part sled from neighbor Brad that you saw. And Lonnie has assembled his first reverse chain case by himself. What do you say about that? Uh, that, was, uh, that was an experience. I'm glad I've done it, though. Uh, it's nice to know how well all that goes together, although we had to do it a couple of times because we forgot things. Yeah. But it went well. Well, we've been riding the struggle bus, and that's the way old sleds are. You know, if we wanted to just pull the cord and ride, well, we'd write a check, right? <laughs> yes, we would. So... We're doing pretty good. The skid's in, and uh, next time we're going to come back, and we're going to do crank seals and clean carbs and drop the motor in. Next, The plan is for the, the next uh, episode, we're going to have the sled ready to ride. And uh, from that point, we're just praying for, for snow. So pray for snow for us here in Minnesota, please. Yep. And also, be sure to, to like this video, to subscribe, to tell your buddies about it. Um, it all helps the channel grow. The channel's growing, but it's not growing super fast, but it's it's starting to grow, and we really need your help. If you're into this kind of con content and you like it, you can help me make more by helping the channel grow. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.